Hey you, if you can't tell by the title already, welcome back to Friday's First Impression. It has definitely been maybe about two months since I've done one. I've been busy working on some personal projects and things like that, but I'm back with another Friday's First Impression. And we are doing another skincare product, of course. It seems to be a lot of skincare products, but I definitely am going to venture out into body care, hair care, and all of that eventually soon. But I don't want to keep you waiting. So the product that I am reviewing is by Simple. I hope you guys can see that there. And this is their Dehydration for Dry Skin Sensitive Skin Experts Water Boost Skin Quench Sleeping Cream with Minerals and Plant Extract. No artificial perfume or color. No harsh chemicals that can upset your skin so i'm so excited i haven't used any i think of simple products and i've always wanted to try um my dad actually gifted three of these to me which was very cool and nice of him he knows i'm trying to be more clean and healthy um, with the type of products that i use not only internally but externally so when he saw this he said baby i thought about you so i got three and I said, great, I always wanted to try it. I definitely am all about that moisture now that I'm getting older and my skin is kind of changing a little bit. So I definitely need the moisture. So yeah, let's not make this a long video like most of them are and let's get into it. Okay, so I am about to wash my hands and then I'm going to double cleanse before I put on this. I am a double cleansing girl. So I will be using the Polymers Coconut Manoi Cleansing Balm first. And then I'm going to follow up with one of my favorite cleansers that I used last year and did a review on. And this is the Fox Brim Naturals Cleanse Coconut Milk and Honey Facial Cleanser here. So yeah, I'm gonna apply this on clean face and we're going to let it sit maybe for an hour or so and see how it works. So I'm gonna wash my hands, come back to the camera and get going. Let's get started. Okay, so my skin is clean and fresh. I'm leaving it slightly damp because typically um, after I do like a toner and stuff like that, my skin will be lightly damp before I go in with my cream. So now we are going to apply the simple sleeping cream here. And I should have got another spatula, but I just cleaned my hands. I'm going to actually grab it from the top here. So let me show you guys, I guess, the consistency here. If you guys can see that, it almost is like a custard, creamy custard, Vaseline -y type of feel um, and look to it. So it's like a very creamy Vaseline or custard. Um, there, so I'm gonna put it on my forehead, my cheeks, my chin, and my neck. I did wash my neck. I would typically also put it on my chest because you should treat your neck and your chest the same as your face. They're both very delicate areas. 
but since I'm standing at the sink here and I am known to be very <laughs> messy um, getting water everywhere I'm not gonna do that so I'm gonna massage this in go around my eye area um, going on it feels like a silicone primer a very light thin silicone primer or like um, a gel almost feels like a gel um, it says sleeping cream but it has like a light gel silicone consistency um, in my opinion it's very smooth it's very fluid um, it's easy to spread um, feels moisturizing I'm pretty sure water is probably like the first ingredient at least I hope it is or aloe or something I don't know but yes Aunt Flo just loves she loves two of her little minions and then all my freckles and moles but it feels very good on the skin it feels light I didn't use a lot um, Mm -hmm. So this is a sleeping cream. This is something that's in my hair. So, um, this is a sleeping cream. So this is something you definitely would sleep in throughout the night. I always like to do my first impression where I am using the product alone, separate, just to see how my skin reacts to it by itself. And then definitely I will try to incorporate, of course, when I put my oils and serums on top of it or whatnot, just to see how well it does um, with everything else. But so far, so good. Um, yeah, we'll see. I don't smell any fragrances. Um, it doesn't sting or anything and I did kind of exfoliate my face earlier prior to this so so far so good I am going to let it sit for about an hour and then I will come back I can do more because I'm hitting in it but I'm gonna give it an hour um, and we'll see how my skin feels then all right back. okay so it's been about an hour and it has absorbed in pretty well I just feel a light that light kind of silicone gel feeling it's very light I'm pretty sure if I left it in like five to eight hours when you typically sleep it probably would be completely gone but I can't tell you that right now um, unless I wait eight hours and come back and film this not gonna do it anyway so yeah still no smell doesn't feel any kind of way um, my skin feels very soft it feels moisturized um, for about an hour and 15 minutes and um, yeah so let's get into these ingredients so it has water which is great um, it has cones it has dimethicones glycerin and a whole bunch of other stuff different type of dimethicones that I cannot pronounce benzophenone uh, phthalates cetaphil just a whole bunch of stuff that I cannot it looks like vitamin E it's probably the technical scientific name of these um, versus just like the ones that we can read and know so I will literally have to type in all of this in Google and research it because I can't pronounce there's potassium chloride um, sodium benzonite sodium chloride glucose uh I'm trying to see what I can actually pronounce yeah that's what's in here it's not a lot of stuff I can like literally pronounce however what this says is that the simple water boost skincare range reverses the five symptoms of dehydration for for revitalized supple and dewy fresh skin the five um, symptoms that it addresses is dryness, roughness, tightness, dullness, and dry lines. Use every day for skin that looks healthier, feels more comfortable, and is continuously hydrated to help prevent dehydration in the future and wrinkles. It says it works naturally with the skin for instant and continuous hydration throughout the day. With regular use, it boosts the skin's natural hydration process infused with minerals and plant extract that are naturally present in skin and are known to help skin stay hydrated dermatology tested um, hypoallergenic non comedogenic no artificial perfume color no harsh chemicals that can upset the skin as I said before earlier so 
that's it this is 1.7 ounces um, I looked it up it runs anywhere between six to eight um, dollars depending on where you get it so like if you get it from a drugstore versus a grocery store or something like that or Amazon the prices can probably differentiate but um if I had to judge it on my one to five scale system that I've been using I'm gonna give it a four for right now I mean like again I'm a wear it for the rest of the day and see how it does but um, the main thing that kind of just um, I want kind of concerned about is that I can't pronounce any of the words <laughs> and it's probably because it's probably their scientific name or original name so I'm going to look those up I'm definitely going to have this um, link for this in the description box below I like that it has no fragrance I like that it's supposed to be very simple no harsh chemicals no fragrances and all of those things no mineral oil so all of that is great again I'm trying to put more clean natural organic products into my skincare as our skin is our largest organ so we absorb everything through our skin that includes the scalp skin on our scalp hands nails feet foot chest stomach just everywhere we are absorbing things through our skin so yeah that is um a problem issue so yeah you guys that is it that's all i can say um i didn't see aloe in there and i, I do know with different names for aloe so i didn't see the aloe in there um and all the other terms may be the abstracts and the minerals that i do not know about those derivatives and terms for so I would try to have most of that linked down below as best as I can for you guys so yeah so far so good okay you guys that is it that is the end of the review I hope you like this video sorry we couldn't really delve into the ingredients and all of those things like I typically like to do um, it's pretty straightforward as far as what it's doing um, and if you see it again in any of my skincare routines, you know that I liked it and evidently a lot of the in ingredients in there wasn't bad and I kept it. Um, this seems like it will also be great during the day. Even though it says sleeping cream, I feel like it's so light. It's great to moisturize during the day. Um, probably will do well up under makeup as well. So I'm definitely going to be trying out in those areas. Um, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumb up. Come down below and let me know if you've already tried this particular cream or anything from the water boosting line from Simple. Again, this is my first time trying any product from the Simple brand. I'm definitely interested in trying different products, probably definitely for my, this particular line because I'm all about moisture, moisture, moisture for my skin lately and that is important. So let me know if you like this, haven't tried it, want to try it, or if you recommend any other products, be it from this brand or from this particular line down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram. And yeah, I can't wait to see you guys in my next video.